the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, San Juan Campus, welcomes you to the 2020 Commencement Exercises. Procession The Candidates for Graduation and one campus faculty. officials. Jaime P. Gutierrez Jr., Campus Director. Alfred M. Pagalilawan, Head, Academic Programs. Anna Madonna M. Arellano, Head of Student Services. Raquel A. Arevalo, Head of Admission and Registration. The University Officials. Pascolito B. Gatan, Vice President for Branches and Campuses. Marisas J. Legaspi, Vice President for Finance. Adam V. Ramiro, Vice President for Administration. Dr. Zenaida R. Sarmiento, Vice President for Student Affairs and Services. Dr. Anna Ruby P. Capasi, Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning, and Development. Dr. Emmanuel C. De Guzman, Vice President for Academic Affairs. The members of the Board of Regents. President, 
Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Doxology National Anthem, followed by the San Juan Hymn.
of the candidates for graduation by the campus director, Professor Jaime P. Gutierrez, Jr., and conferment of the degrees by the university president, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the degrees in Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English, major in Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Bachelor in Banking and Finance, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, San Juan Campus for the academic year 2019-2020. The graduation of these candidates was approved by the University Academic Council and confirmed by the Board of Regents. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Charter of the University and the Board of Regents, I hereby confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, privileges, as well as the obligations and responsibilities hereunto appertaining. Introduction of the commencement speaker by Professor Pascualito B. Gatan, Vice President for Branches and Campuses. No truer words could describe the commitment of our commencement speaker. Spanning 25 years of fervent and undaunted service towards Tintang Paralan, he once again dedicated his time, effort, and wisdom this time in leading the university towards great heights. He vows to continue the seeds of reform planted by the incumbent administration and promises to do more given his new role. The task of becoming the university president is an immense responsibility, especially given the size and status of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines with the dream of becoming a National Polytechnic University soon. The challenge becomes arduous and complex, but Dr. Manuel M. Mohi believes that his loyalty to the university and his humble experience are important ingredients to steering a redirection for PUP. After graduating in 1988 with a degree in civil engineering, he began planting his roots in PUP as a young faculty member. No longer after, he was designated as laboratory head of the College of Engineering from 1995 to 1998. During those years, he concurrently served as a chairperson of the Department of Civil Engineering until 2003. In 1999, he assumed the position of Program Coordinator for the Master's Program in Construction Management. He became the Faculty Assistant to the Office of the Dean in 2005-2006.
then became the program chair of Masters in Construction Management. In 2006, he was hailed the Dean of the College of Engineering, a post he held for six consecutive years. During his stint, several reforms and outstanding programs were implemented. It was also during this period that the university rose to recognition because more students have been tapping different engineering licensure examinations. Because of his unparalleled leadership, he was appointed Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development from 2012 to 2016. He also served as the concurrent Executive Vice President from 2014 to 2016. After which, he was appointed Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mohi strongly believes in enhancing the research and extension trust of the university to meet not just the needs of the students and the faculty, but importantly, the society we long to serve. The reforms and programs he helped shape embody the university's motto, Mula Sayo Para Sabayan. Under his leadership, he developed the university's professional shareholder lectures to strengthen PUP faculty profile and encourage more academics to share their expertise to PUP faculty and students. Aside from his PUP tint, Dr. Mohi also served in several committees and working groups to expand his leadership and deepen his expertise. He currently serves as Consortium Director of Metropolitan Manila Industry, Energy and Emerging the Technology Research and Development Consortium. Previously, he was a member of Commission on Higher Education's Technical Committee for Engineering Technology, Technical Panel for Technology Education, and a Technical Working Group for Civil Engineering Program. Indeed, he is a man on a mission, a man entrusted to lead the university, to bring it towards greater development. The proud son of Boak, Marinduque, a faithful husband to his wife, Pamela Calixto Muhi, and a loving father to Manuel Miguel and Manuel Lorenzo. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome this year's commencement speaker, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Chad Chairman Prospero de Vera, Commissioner Ronald Adamat, and the Honorable Members of the PUP Board of Regents, PUP officials, fellow faculty members, proud parents, beloved graduates, friends, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Today we gather here to celebrate the culmination of all the efforts of this year's graduating class, their parents, guardians, their teachers, and friends under the nourishing wings of our Sintang Paaralan. What an honor to be given the opportunity to address this graduating class on this momentous occasion, knowing a few years from now, most of you will give PUP a respectable name in whatever field you chose to this day. Ngayong araw ng inyong pagtatapos, Sisimulan ko ang aking maligayang pagbati sa inyong tagumpay sa pamamagitan ng isang tanong sa mga taong iginugol ninyo sa pag-aaral sa sintang paaralan. Natuklasan ninyo na ba ang kahulugan ng pagiging tunay na piyupian? Iyan ang parehong tanong na pinagsumikapan kong sagutin habang tulad ninyo, ako ay pinalad na makapag-aral sa Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. I was a boy with a big dreams. But I did not just sleep and wake up one morning to see those dreams come true right away. I did it with all my blood, sweat, and tears and bunch of laughter along the way. I know I never would have done it without the help of my former teachers and my classmates, my friends, and even the hardworking personnel of PUP who showed me what public service is all about. Noong nagtapos ako ng civil engineering sa PUP, Tangan ko ang mataas na respeto sa kalidad ng edukasyon dito. Hindi naglaon, bagamat alam kong mas mabilis ang kita sa pagiging inhinyero, 
ang respetong lulan ko ay siyang nagtulak sa akin na magtrabaho bilang isang guro ng PUP. The promise of greener pasture did not stop me from doing what I love most, serving the people. Back then, I knew that being an engineer could be a lucrative profession, but I chose to stay because for me, being of service to the people in the precious name of PUP is priceless. Sino ang mag-aakala na isang simpleng mag-aaral na nooy binabagtas lamang ang makikipot na daan ng Teresa, Anonas, Hipodromo at Puresa habang marubdob na nangangarap hindi lang para sa kanyang sarili kundi para sa iba ay mabigyan ng pagkakataon maglingkod sa sintang paaralan bilang isang pangulo. Marahil kung hindi ako napadpad sa PUP, hindi ko makakamit ang aking pangarap at hindi ko mabibigyan ng pagkakataong tulungan ang iba na abutin ang minimiti nila. Yes, of course, I know that you may say that like the boy that I was uh, before, you still have a long way to go. Some of you may be bound to traverse the road full of humps and bumps. Others may be to take the rather plain and flat path. But always remember this. The things you do today may not be able to predict your future, but they can certainly prepare you for your journey to success. However, before this celebration ends, let me share with you the L-E-S-S-O-N-S Lessons Life has prepared you to learn as you attain all your heart's desires. L. Learn. To, every day is an opportunity to learn something new. Kung akala ninyo ang natutunan ninyo sa kolehiyo ang tanging susi para mas mapabuti ninyo ang inyong sarili, nagkakamali kayo. Ang kaibahan nating mga piyupian sa iba ay ang ating pagiging bukas at determinado. Handa tayong matuto at sumubok ng bago. Handa nating gawin ang mga bagay ng may pagpagkumbaba at respeto. Even if PUP graduates are most preferred by employers, we should not be complacent and be content with what we have learned. We should always strive to become better version of ourselves. Sabi nga ni Robin Williams sa pelikula Dead Poets Society, Kirby Jem, seize the day. Make your lives extraordinary. Yes, you need to seize every opportunity. Seize every moment, big or small. Focus on building, improving, and putting yourself into a well-meaning plans and actions that will contribute in attaining and accomplishing all your dreams. E. Engage. Our time on earth is short and it is not supposed to include only our own job and family. We should have greater accountability to the community. It is where we should engage ourselves more. Likas sa ating mga piyupian ang maghangad na makibahagi sa lipunan sapagat alam natin na bayan ang ating sandigan. Nilinang tayo ng edukasyon, may malalim na pagpapahalaga sa taong bayan. S. Share. Theodore Roosevelt once said, Be practical as well as generous in your ideals. Huwag nating ipagdamot sa iba ang ating kaalaman, lalo na ang kakayahan nating mapadali ang isang mahirap na sitwasyon. Walang saysay ang ating talino at talento kung hindi natin nagagamit upang tumulong sa iba. S. Seek. When you find yourself in a difficult circumstance, seek for solution for the help of other people around you. In an institution such as PUP, the key to get through in a challenging task is to overcome it with the collective effort of all its members. Kaalaman, kayamanan, at kaibigan, yan ang maari nating matagpuan sa pagnanais nating maging bukas at mapanuklas. O, obey. When the late author and poet George MacDonald wrote, Obedience is the key to every door. He must have been meaning that following policies can lead us to clarity, order, and success. However, there are far more important virtues than mere policies and guidelines, and those are the humanistic values that we must uphold. Lagi nating tandaan na ang pagsunod sa mga alituntunin ay tanda rin ng respeto sa iba, sa sarili, at sa ating piniling profesyon. And nurture, now and more than ever, is the perfect time for nurturing ourselves and the people around us. This means that we have to encourage growth and development wherever we are and no matter how slow the pace may seem. The situation the whole world is in already difficult for us to process. 
So as much as possible, let us be each other's source of hope and inspiration. S. Serve. The ultimate price of being a PUPian is the duty to serve the people. Na nanalaytay sa dugo nating mga PUPian ang tungkuling ibigay sa bayan ang nararapat sa kanya. Ito ay sapagkat walang higit pa sa pagsisilbi sa tinibuang lupa. PUP is and will always be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Mga mahal naming mga magsisipagtapos, alam kong hindi matutumbasan ang mga salita ang lahat ng hirap at pagsisikap ninyo at ng inyong pamilya upang kayo ay makapagtapos sa pamantasan ng bayan. Ang PUP, ang ating sintang paaralan, sa kabila nito, hayaan ninyong gamitin ninyo ang okasyong ito upang ipagdiwang ang inyong nakamit na tagumpay. Ito ay araw ng pasasalamat unang-una sa paong may kapal kung saan ang lahat ng biyaya ay nagmula. Sa inyong mga magulang na lubos na nagsakripisyo upang maitawid ang inyong pag-aaral sa mga kamag-anak, kaibigan at mahal sa buhay na tumulong at nagbigay ng suporta hanggang sa huli. Nawa ay hindi ninyo malimot kung sino-sino ang nariyan habang kayo ay nagsusumikap at kung saan kayo nagsimulang mangarap. Palagi ninyo sanang piliing paglingkuran ang bayan saan man kayo magtungo sapagkat kasabay ng pagtatapos ninyo sa PUP ang pagsisimula ng inyong tungkulin sa lipunang inyong ginagalawan. At this point, I would like to pay homage to the parents and guardians of our graduates. Dearest parents, We thank you for your support and for having faith in the dreams of your beloved children. Kasama po kayo sa paghubog ng kanilang mga pangarap. Kayo ang kanilang inspirasyon. Kasama po kayo sa kanilang mga hinabing magagandang mga pangarap. Sabi nga po ni Eleanor Roosevelt, The future belongs to those believe in the beauty of their dreams. Ang lahat ng mga magagandang pangarap na ito ay matatamasan ninyo kung meron po tayong tapang at determinasyong ito ay harapin. This celebration is as much for you as it is for them. Thank you for selflessly denying yourself for lavish things so you could provide for their needs first. Thank you for your callous hands that shape the future of this generation. As parents, you are the heart and soul of this nation. You are the parents of the teachers, engineers, professionals of this country. And it is in your homes where they will always find their roots and their hearts. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my colleagues in this university. I know that our profession is not the most lucrative. There is but look at all of these graduates. They are your legacy to this country. The moment you touch their lives, you have contributed to the betterment of our nation. And from here on, you are infinite. Sila ang ating legacy. Sila po ang ating tropeyo na hinubog natin upang maging isang mabuting mamamayan ng ating bayan. Higit sa lahat, bilang mga anak ng ating sintang paaralan, naway lagi ninyong isabuhay ang likas na katangian ng isang PUPian. Sapagkat dahil mga anak kayo ng PUP, hindi hindi mabubura kailanman ang katotohanan na sa puso ninyo bilang isang iskolar ng bayan. Ang Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas ay mananatiling inyong dakilang tahanan. Mula sa iyo para sa bayan. Padayon mga kapwa PUPian. Congratulations at mabuhay kayo. Mabuhay ang PUP. Maraming salamat po. The valedictory address to be delivered by Irvin E. Karingal, Cum Laude, 2020 graduating class from the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Isang pagpupugay sa mga kapwa ko eskolar ng bayan na magsisipagtapos ngayong taon. Ang pagkakataong ito na maging kinatawa ng mga magsisipagtapos at makapagbigay ng mensahe ng pasasalamat at pagpupugay sa mga taong naging bahagi ng ating mahirap, ngunit masayang paglalakbay ay isang malaking oportunidad na para sa akin. Hayaan ninyong ibahagi ko ang aking mga karanasan sa loob ng ating sintang paaralan. Ako po ay tatlong pong taong gulang na. Kung ating iisipin masyado ng huli para sa isang tao ngayon pa lamang magtatapos ng kolehiyo. Nagtapos ako ng sekundarya taong 2007. Hindi ako nabigyan ng pagkakatao makapagpatuloy ng aking pag-aaral sa kolehiyo dahil sa hirap ng buhay. Sa loob ng isang taon ay huminto ang mundo ko. Wala akong anumang plano sa buhay ng mga panahong iyon. 
hinihintay ko na lamang na matapos ang taon upang baka sakaling sa susunod na pasukan, ako ay mabigyan na ng pagkakataong bumalik sa pag-aaral. Taong dalawang libot siya, pasukan na naman. Pumasok ako sa isang test day school upang ipagpatuloy ang naudot kong pangarap sa buhay. Sa loob ng dalawang taon ako ay nangarap at nagsumikap upang pahalagahan ang pagkakataong ito na ibinigay sa akin. Dahil danas ko ang buhay ng isang taong may pangarap pero mahirap. Taong dalawang libot sampo nang ako ay makapagtapos sa isang vokasyonal na kruso. Ako na isang probinsyano na kipagsapalaran sa lugar kung saan bago ang lahat sa akin. Ang Maynila. Lugar na hindi ko alam ang aking kahinatnan. Dito ako ay natutong mamuhay na mag-isa. Malayo sa pamilya at sa buhay na aking kinasanayan. Dala ang aking diploma at mga natutunan. Tinaho ko ang bagong landas na ito. Dito ako muling bumuo ng bagong mga pangarap. Magkaroon ng trabaho at makatulong sa pamilya. Taong dalawang libot labing isa. Nang dumating sa akin ang pagkakataong maging kawani ng pamalaang lungsod ng Sanuan. Ito ay sa tulong ng aking mga kakilala. Maraming pinto ang nagbukas para sa akin at maraming oportunidad ang nahihain. Sa aking pananatili bilang sa kawani ng gobyerno, kailangan kong pagibayuhin ang aking sarili. Doon ko napansin na hindi sapat ang daladala kong diploma upang makipagsabayan sa mga kapwa ko kawani ng gobyerno. Mula noon, ako ay muling nangarap na magbalik sa pag-aaral. At sa isang hindi inaasahang pagkakataon, naglunsad ang pamalang ng Sod ng San Juan ng isang programa para sa mga kawani na nais magpatuloy ng kanilang pag-aaral sa koleyo. Katuwang ang Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas sa Dlong ng San Juan. Ang programa ito ay tila isang liwanag na nagbigay liwanag sa aking pangarap. Ngunit ang liwanag na iyon ay hindi magiging ganoon kadali. Maraming pwedeng mangyari sa loob ng apat na taon. Ang pagiging isang empleyado at pagiging isang mag-aaral ay hindi biro. Sabi nga, kung may pangarap ka sa buhay, gawin mo ang lahat upang makamit yun. Makararanas ka ng pagkapagod at pagtatanong sa sarili kung tutuloy ka pa ba. Ang sagot lang ay maaari kang tumigil o huminto. Pero wag na wag kang susuko. Taong dalawang libot labing anin, unang araw ng pasukan. May halong ka ba at saya ang aking naramdaman? Ako ay dalawampu't anim na taong gulang na. Sa edad ko ngayon ay malinaw na sa akin ang rason ng aking pagbabalik sa pag-aaral. Malinaw na sa akin ang mga hindi dapat at mga dapat kong gawin sa loob ng apat na taon. Maraming pagbabago. May mga tao akong nakilala na katulong sa akin. Dahil katulad ko, iisa lamang ang aming motibasyon at rason kung bakit pinili namin bumalik sa pag-aaral. Sila ang aking mga kaklase at mga kapwa ko kawani sa gobyerno. Iba-iba man ang aming pagkatao at opinion, pero kami ay pinagbuklod ng isang hangarin. At iyon ay ang makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Dahil sa kanila, mas naging masaya at mas naging makabuluhan pa ang aking pag-aaral. Kaya naman, sa aking mga kaklase sa gabi at katrabaho sa umaga, saludo ako sa inyo. Mapanatili sa nanatin ang matibay na pagsasamahang sama-sama nating binuo sa loob ng ating sintang paralan. Sa aming mga propesor na patsagang humubog sa aming kaalaman at karunungan, isa kayo sa mga tao na ibigay sa amin ng inspirasyon upang huwag kaming sumuko sa laban na aming sinimulan. Ang inyong munting mensahe sa amin ay isang malaking tulong na upang magpatuloy sa buhay. Hindi man kami naging isang perfectong mag-aaral, pero dahil sa inyo ay aming nakita ang aming kahalagahan sa lipunan. Maraming salamat mula sa aming mga eskolar ng bayan. Sa aming mga kaibigan at kasamahan sa trabaho, maraming salamat sa pagbibigay ng suporta mula noon hanggang ngayon. Higit sa lahat sa mga department heads sa aming mga opisina, maraming salamat sa walang sawang pagtulong at pagpapaalala sa amin. Ang inyong simpleng pagpapayo ay malaking tulong na upang maipakita ang aming kakayahan bilang isang mabuting ehemplong manggagawa. Sa pamanuan ng lungsod ng San Juan, ang oportunidad na binigay niyo sa amin ay taos puso naming pinasasalamatan. Ang programang inyong binuksan ay malaking tulong hindi lang para sa amin, kundi na din sa aming mga pamilya. Makakaasa kayo na ang kaalaman at karunungang aming natutunan sa loob ng universidad ay gagamitin namin upang makapaglingkod ng mabuti sa ating mga kababayan. Sa pamanuan ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas, Sudlong ng San Juan, 
sa mga pang-akademiko at di pang-akademikong kawan. Sa apat na taon na pagpapatuloy at pagkupkup sa amin, lalo't higit sa inyong serbisyo upang ang bawat isa sa amin ay makaramdam ng kaayusan at katiwasayan. Habang kami ay nasa loob ng ating universidad, marami pong salamat sa aming pamilya at mga magulang. Ang pagtatapos nito ay inaalay namin sa inyo. Kayo ang aming inspirasyon at nagpapatibay sa amin. Salamat sa inyong suporta at walang sawang pagmamahal. Kayo ang isang malaking dahilan ng lahat ng ito. Ang diplomang tatanggapin namin ay simbolo ng iyong pagtsatsaga at sakripisyo sa kung ano at sino kami ngayon. Mula sa mga hapo ako scholar, isang pagpupugay mula sa amin. Maraming salamat. Sa aming sintang paaralan na nagsilbing tahanan, naging tulay ng karunungan at pundasyon ng kalaman. Hindi namin makakalimutan ang mga karanasan habang kami ay nasa loob ng iyong bakuran. Ang mga punlang itinanim mo sa amin ay gagamitin namin sa mga bagay na kapakipakinabaw. Hindi man kami nabigyan ng isang magandang seremonyang pagtatapos, hindi iyon magiging hadlang sa mga aral na aming natutunan. At mga karanasan na aming babaunin mula sa iyo ay aming gagamitin para sa bayan. Maraming salamat aming sintang paralan. At ang lahat ng ito ay naging posible dahil sa gabay ng poong may kapal. Kaya sa mga kapwa ko eskolar ng bayan, ang pagtatapos na ito ay unang bahagi pa lang ng bagong simula para sa ating lahat. Ating pandayin at pag-ibayuhin pa ang ating mga sarili. Ako, si Irwin E. Karingal. Mag-aaral mula sa Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas sa Dlong ng San Juan. Muli, isang pasasalamat at pagpupugay para sa ating lahat mga isko at iska. Graduates from the PUB San Juan branch, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy.
Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Messages. Maligayang pagbati, Batch 2020 ng PUP San Juan. Ako'y masaya na sa kabila ng ating pinagdadaan ng krisis, ang may magandang balita tulad nito, ang pagsibol ng mga bagong batch na mga kabataang magiging leader sa nalalapit na hinaharap at siyang magtataguyod ng makabagong San Juan maging ng Pilipinas. Maaring mayroong kayong mga agam-agam sa isip ninyo. Nakakahanap ba ako ng trabaho sa panahong marami ang nawala ng trabaho? O anong susunod na hakbang ko sa gitna ng pandemya nito? Ngunit gusto kong sabihin sa inyong naniniwala kong makakaraos tayong lahat at ang inyong mga nakagsila o na-delay na plano ay mangyari sa tamang panahon. Naniniwala rin ako na dahil sa mga karanasan natin sa krisis na ito, ay mas magkakaroon kayo ng talino, tapang at kakayahang baguhin ang mundo para sa susunod na henerasyon. Napakalaki ng mundo at nasisiguro kong bawat isa sa inyo ay may takdang mahalagang papel na gagampanan sa pagpapaunlad ng ating bansa. Huwag kayong mawawala ng pag-asa. Magkos sa madilim nating pinagdadaanan ngayon ang inyong mga bagong ideya at mga adhikain, gaano man kalit, ay siya magsisilbing ilaw ng pag-asa. Huwag kayong matakot na sumubok, tumayo sa inyong mga sariling paa at humarap sa mga pagsubok ng buhay dahil sa pagkabigo at pagkatapa. Tayo natututo at nagiging mas matibay sa buhay. Alam niyo naman na bago ako naging punong lungsod ng San Juan, ako po ay nabigo sa aking unang pagtakbo. Sa pagkabigong ito, ako ay natuto kaysa na itama ang aking pagkakamali na napunan ang anumang pagkukulang. Malaki ang tiwala ko sa inyo. Kayang-kaya niyo ang anumang balakid sa inyong hinaharap. Sa mga magulang, pamilya, mga guro na mga nagsisipagtapos, Saludo ko sa inyo dahil kayo ay malaking bahagi ng kanilang tagumpay. Naway patuloy niyong gabayan ang ating mga kabataan sa yugto ng kanilang buhay na ito. Ako po si Mayor Francis Zamora. Muli kayong binabati ng isang maligayang pagtatapos. Stay safe and strong. PUP San Juan Batch 2020. Maraming salamat po.
Good day to one and all. Foremost, I would like to share with you this very beautiful and inspiring quote from Leon Joseph Cardinal Swinens. And it runs this way. Happy are those who dream dreams and are ready to pay the price to make them come true. Today marks a milestone for our Polytechnic University of the Philippines graduates who will now embark on a new chapter of their lives as future members of the country's workforce and nation builders. To all the parents and relatives who have stood behind our graduates in good times and in tough times, I say to you, you have been the inspiration that helped them realize their dreams. They are your sons and daughters, all talented and able young men and women who come from the four corners of the archipelago, who all work hard to finish their college education from the tradition of this great institution of higher learning. Equally worth mentioning are the PUP faculty, your work hard working mentors and teachers. I say that they have successfully transferred their knowledge and skills to these graduates and have completely prepared them to face the real world, a world that is full of competition and challenges. As Commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education and Chair of the PUP Board of Regents, I would like to congratulate the leadership of this university, headed by President Dr. Manuel Mui, for shaping the minds and hearts of these graduates and for training their sides towards greater heights while molding them to develop their love for our country and its people. And to the graduates, let me say that while you march your way out of the portals of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, I could only wish for your success as you endeavor to achieve your goals, especially in these times of great upheavals. While your graduation has looked different for you because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the achievement is still the same. You have put in the same hard work. You have learned and grown so much. And we are all very, very proud of you. I am sure today will be only the first of many proud successful moments for you. Be what you have been educated. Become who you will be. You are PUP graduates who will, be, who will bring pride and honor to your alma mater, ready and willing to effect change in our communities and help transform the world into becoming a better place for all peoples. In closing, let me share with you one of my mantras in education. And it runs this way. Education is not the sole determinant to one's destiny. But it is the biggest predictor to one's success. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Mabuhay and maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Congratulations po sa ating mga scholar ng bayan na bahagi ng graduating class of 2020 ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Isang taus-pusong pagbati rin po sa lahat ng mga opisyal, faculty and staff at mga kawani ng PUP. Sa pangunguna ng ating University President, Dr. Manuel M. Muhi. Bilang chairperson po ng Senate Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education, gayon din po ng Board of Regents ng PUP, 
Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa lahat ng inyong mga sakripisyo at kahandaan sa pagbabago para malampasan natin ang mga balakid na dala ng COVID-19 epidemia. All your current efforts and initiatives in responding to COVID-19 illustrate your capacity for turning adversities into opportunities. Patunay po ang virtual graduation na ito sa resilience o katatagan ng ating pamantasan sa gitna ng isang pandemya. But resilience has long been present in PUP even before the pandemic. The capacity of overcoming challenges is a distinguishing quality of our graduates. It's one value that never diminishes and continues to manifest in their work ethic. As a recipient of an honorary degree from this university in 2013, and as an advocate of decent employment for young people, I am so proud that the graduates of PUP are the top choice of employers due to their positive work ethic. Kaya kahit na po maraming nakambang na pagsubo, suliranin ang ating kaharapin sa ating mga bagong graduates dahil sa pagbabagong dala ng COVID-19 sa labor job market. Tiwala po ako at tiwala kami na handa tayong sumabak at magtagumpay sa huli. We pass vital legislative measures to help you navigate your career path. In fact, long before the pandemic, we've jump-started the adoption of telecommuting or work-from-home act among businesses in the country. Now, we are supporting and uh, working on uh, legislations to support the development and growth of uh, digital careers and freelancing, which are in demand for the uh, 4IR and new normal job market. And of course, hindi natin nakakalimutan yung First Time Job Seekers Act. Ipinasa na po natin noon pa na pag nag-apply ho kayo ng trabaho, libre na ang pagkuha ng birth certificate, police clearance, medical clearance, even transcript of records sa mga SUCs para makatulong po sa inyong paghahanap ng trabaho. Gamitin po natin ang ating tatak PUP sa laban na ito sa COVID-19. Paigtingin po natin ang saliksik sa pamantasan at patuloy na isabuhay ang papel ng ating universidad bilang daan ng tunay at positibong pagbabago sa ating minamahal na bansa. To our graduates, your engagement in public service is fitting and proper as students educated from the government's coffers. You have the moral obligation and I'd like to remind you all of that to recompense Filipino taxpayers and to make a difference in this beloved country. Muli, maligayang araw po ng pagtatapos sa inyong lahat at patuloy tayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoong Diyos. To the members of the Governing Board of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, headed by our Chet Commissioner Ronald Adama, PUP President Manuel Muhi, the deans and other university officials in attendance, our parents, administrative staff, and most important of all, our dear graduates who are here with us through uh, technology. A pleasant morning to all of you. I am honored and thankful for this privilege of joining you as guest speaker for this year's unique commencement exercise. As a member of the academy myself, having spent my whole professional life teaching at various universities, including the University of the Philippines, since I graduated at 19 years old. It is during this time of the year that we, the faculty, administrators, graduates, parents, and loved ones, get a sense of triumph of hope and most important of all, happiness for this special occasion. It is in this context that I congratulate the university administration and faculty headed by President Moody for its fidelity to the primary mandate of the university enunciated in presidential decree 1341 which is to expand the program offerings of the university 
to include courses in polytechnic areas and also given the university the authority to expand the establishment of branches, consortia, and linkages so that education will be accessible to all. I am particularly proud and commend the Polytechnic University of the Philippines for being the vanguard to ensure access to higher education. It is true that UP is the national university, but it is more important to emphasize that access for the marginalized, for the students who come from other areas of the country, and for families that are unable to afford quality education, they go to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. It is the mandate of PUP as a public service university and its provision of access to quality higher education, which distinguishes PUP as a premier university of this country. I know it sounds like a cliche to say that teachers and professors are engaged in the noblest of professions. You can even say that sometimes it is self-serving when professors or academicians like me say it. But it is during graduation that we realize the triumph and successes of students who passed by under the watch of professors. I was a student myself, just like all of you, just like our members of the board, just like our university officials. We were once curious freshmen and women when we entered the portals of our campuses. We were wide-eyed students trying to make sense of the buildings, the rooms, and most important, the professors, making sure we avoid our terror professors. And now, we are full-fledged graduates ready to face the world. This transformation from a curious freshman to a very competent, very eager, and well-developed graduates, this is a process that happens under the watch of our faculty, staff, and administrators who took on the task of shaping the minds of young freshmen, together, of course, with the parents and the loved ones of these graduates. Allow me, therefore, to share with you on this important occasion three, three hopes that I hope will serve as part of your compass as you navigate further in life. These three hopes are, first, the hopes of a parent, second, the hope of a nation, and third, the hope of a graduate. Una, ang pag-asa ng isang magulang, ikalawa, ang pag-asa ng ating bayan, at ikatlo, ang, ang iniisip ng mga magsisipagtapos. Let me start with the first. Our parents always have the highest hopes for us students. I know they can be nagging, they can be pressuring, or sometimes they scold us. Sigurado ako, marami sa inyo ang napagalitan. Napagalitan dahil hindi gumigising ng maaga. O 
umuwi ng masyadong gabi. Ang pagalitan dahil sa palagay ng magulang, hindi nag-aaral. O ang pagalitan dahil hindi kumakain ng mabuti, kumakain lang ng junk food at kumapasok na. This is normal because parents want us to fulfill our dreams to be able to provide for ourselves and our families, the family where we belong now, and the family that you might want to create in the future. And even for those whose parents are not with us this afternoon, wherever they are, in this life or beyond, all of them have or had high hopes for you. And the fulfillment of their hopes will bring honor to their name and happiness beyond measure as you fulfill and complete your, your education this afternoon. I know that because I am a parent myself. I remember when my daughter started at his, her education, I was probably, uh, you know, more uh, stressed than she was when she started schooling. Because parents always believe that their children is a reflection of themselves. Kailangan magtagumpay ang mga anak at kailangan mahigitan ng anak ang nagawa ng magulang. That is what every parent always worries about. That their children will not succeed. That, the chil that their children will not be better than them. And I shared the same hopes when my daughter went to primary school, went to secondary school, went to the university, all the way until she became a doctor. And I know the happiness, the unfathomable happiness that every parent feels seeing their children graduate and start their career. I am now a grandparent and I see my grandchildren as they grow up. They are now entering what was to us before high school. They are going to uh, Quezon City Science High School. And as I watch them do their online classes to start the school year, I feel the same, you know, hope the stress, and hopefully the sense of achievement as I see them develop through the different levels of education. The second hope that I have in mind is the hope of a nation, our Philippine nation. And this hope is concretized or is being realized when in 2017, aside from the subsidy that our state universities and colleges receive every year, Congress and the President appropriated 8 billion pesos so that our men and women, our students in 112 state universities and colleges did not have to pay tuition and miscellaneous fees anymore in 2017. In August of 2017, the same year, the President made history when he signed Republic Act 10931 or the Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education which expanded the original subsidy of Congress to now include not just free tuition and miscellaneous, but to provide tertiary education subsidy to students who need it, to expand the student financial assistance program, and to provide free 
technical and vocational education to all young people who want to do it. These components of RA10931 are historic because this has never happened in the history of Philippine higher education. And today, we are the only developing country in the world that is implementing universal access to quality tertiary education. My friends, graduates, it used to be that only around 5% of students in higher education receive scholarships and financial assistance. It is now more than 40%. When UWACTE was implemented in 2018, about 1.1 million students in 112 state universities and colleges and close to 100 local universities and colleges did not anymore pay tuition and miscellaneous fees. And overall, if you include the tertiary education subsidy, 1.47 million students have been assisted by government through the free higher education law. Today, we have increased the number of students being assisted to close to 1.8 million students getting some form of student financial assistance from government. Overall, this is more than 50% of the total enrollment in higher education in both public and private universities. It took a mayor from a city in Mindanao to make this happen. It had to take a mayor to tell the public in the election of 2016 that they will help young Filipinos achieve their dream of higher education. And that promise has become a reality because that mayor became President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. The investment given by government to you is given freely without conditions, but with the hope that you will pay it forward by becoming responsible members of your communities and responsible citizens of this country. Dear graduates, that is the hope of the nation. Please do not let the Filipinos down. As we talk about the hopes of your parents and the nation, I know and I understand that you have your own hopes as graduates. This is the third hope I was referring to. For some of you, you hope to be employed after graduation, or start or join the business, or make it big in sports, or even showbiz. You have your hopes to express your being, to enjoy life, and do the things that you really love. I want to tell you that the real world is significantly different from your life within the university. But I am confident that with your learning journey in PUP, you are more than ready for the journey ahead. I ask that you have the heart of a servant, no matter how high the status that you reach, it is only in service that we can find fulfillment and potential to transform our communities. Service is the ultimate expression of your excellence. And finally, I ask that you do it untiring, untiringly. Do it consistently. If you do this, you follow the path 
that all graduates of PUP, when it was still Philippine College of Commerce, the same path of service that they have taken during the most difficult times of this country is the same path that you will take now as you end your, your uh, university education and commence your professional life. We had visionaries, excellent, excellent ones that have come from a university like PUP. Please follow their path. Be untiring. Never quit. Because quitters will never have a chance to win. I ask you in behalf of the Commission on Higher Education and in behalf of the Philippine nation to now become leaders as you start your professional life. Thank you and congratulations. Pledge of loyalty to be led by Honorable Geraldine L. Pilar, President, Federation ng mga Alumni Associations sa PUP Incorporated. Itaas ang kanang kamay at ulitin ang aking mga sasabihin. Ako si nagtapos ng kursong ay buong pusong nanunumpa ay buong pusong nanunumpa na magiging tapat na magiging tapat sa lahat ng panahon sa lahat ng panahon sa mga adhikain sa mga adhikain panuntunan panuntunan at prinsipyo at prinsipyo ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas ang aking sintang paaralan ang aking sintang paaralan at sa organisasyon ng mga alumni at sa organisasyon ng mga alumni na kumakatawan dito na kumakatawan dito ako ay nangangako natuto pa rin ko ang aking napiling profesyon. Ako ay nangangako na tutupa din ko ang aking napiling profesyon na may paggalang sa mga alituntuni ng universidad at sa mga batas ng Pilipinas. Na may paggalang sa mga alituntunin ng universidad at sa mga batas ng Pilipinas. Hindi ako gagawa ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng kanyang pangalan. Hindi ako gagawa ng anumang bagay na ikasasama ng kanyang pangalan. Bagkos ay aking itataguyod ang lalong ikahuhusay at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan. Bagkus ay aking itataguyod ang kanyang lalong ikahuhusay at ikabubunyi ng kanyang pangalan. Bilang iskolar ng bayan na kumikilala sa estado, sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral. Bilang iskolar ng bayan na kumikilala sa estado, Estado, sa kanyang malaking ambag sa aking pag-aaral, iniaalay ko ang aking buhay. Husay at talino bilang kapaki-pakinabang na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Iniaalay ko ang aking buhay, husay at talino bilang kapaki-pakinabang na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Ako ay maglilingkod sa aking kapwa-tao para sa ikauunlad ng aking bayan. Ako ay maglilingkod sa aking kapwa-tao para sa ikauunlad ng aking bayan. Ako ay magiging tapat 
at malayang susuporta sa mga adhikain at programa ng asosasyon ng mga alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Sumusumpa ako na magiging tapat at malayang susuporta sa mga adhikain at programa ng mga asosasyon ng alumni ng Politeknikong Universidad ng Pilipinas. Lahat ng ito ay aking tutuparin ng walang anumang pasubali o pag-aalinlangan. Lahat ng ito ay aking tutup din ng walang anumang pasubali o pag-aalinlangan. Kasihan nawa ako ng poong may kapal. Kasihan nawa ako ng may kapal. kapal. Congratulations, graduates. Mabuhay ang uh, mga taga-PUP. Mabuhay tayong lahat.